Hey everyone, welcome back to HRG TV. In today's video, we're gonna install a set of ditch light brackets in this 2023 Hyundai Santa Cruz. Now this is our shop Santa Cruz and it does have one of our lift kits on it. So if you're looking to customize your Santa Cruz, we do have wheels and tires, lift kits, ditch light brackets, and a few other things for the Santa Cruz. So check it out, hrgoffroad.com. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is remove that fuse from the fuse holder, connect your wire to the battery post as shown, and then you're gonna connect your ground wire to the factory ground point on the firewall. And you're gonna remove the battery tie down because you're gonna need to move that battery back a little bit to access the grommet on the firewall. So that's where we're gonna pass the wire through. There's a, there's a nice grommet right there beside the brake booster. Underneath the dash, there's a little cover uh, made of felt. Pull that aside and you can access that grommet right there. Now we will have to poke a hole through that. Pull these connectors off very carefully. I would use a pair of pliers. Sometimes they come off by hand, but if you pull them off by the wire, the wire can actually rip out of the connector and then you gotta repair it. So basically all I'm gonna do is slice a tiny hole into this grommet for the wires to pass through. Now I'm using a giant zip tie as my fishing tool. Basically it's just a tool made of anything long and thin that you can jam through there. And that will allow you to attach the wiring on the other side with, well I used electrical tape, you can use whatever you got. But you tie those up to your fishing tool and then that allows you to pull them through from the inside. So we're gonna go back on the inside and slide those wires through. And you may want to put a little bit of WD-40 on there to let it slide a little better. I didn't, and it got a little bit hung up, but I was able to pull it through with a little bit of finesse. And as you can see, there's your wiring harness coming through to the inside of the vehicle. And then what I did was took masking tape to protect the paint on your hood. I'm, you know, try to be careful, but sometimes, you know, things happen. So put tape on there to protect it when you're mounting these. You can't really see them in the video, but there are two washers that go between the ditch light brackets and the hood hinges to get it um, to where they mount properly. So once you got those mounted, it's a 12 millimeter socket. So you can go ahead and tighten those all the way up. Now, as you can see at top, our, our tape protected the paint so we don't have any scratches and we'll leave that on until we're done. Next, you're just gonna repeat that process for the passenger side. The passenger side, I would absolutely recommend having someone help you. The hood is very heavy on the Santa Cruz, and if you don't have a good hold onto it, it will fall. Ask me how I know that. So now you got your HRG lights. Boy, are these things awesome. Look at that connector. It is a waterproof Deutsch style connector. And these are IP69K rated, which means they can withstand a pressure washer blast without leaking. On this side, you can see I already took the tape off, but you can just very, very carefully bolt the bolts in, tighten them up. It does come with stainless hardware. And then you're gonna plug in your cables to the lights. And at that point, what we're gonna do is a little bit of cable management. Basically, we're just gonna drill a few holes across for the, the wires to attach. So that gives us a little mounting point for the zip ties. So we're gonna zip tie all the wiring up and away from the heat and away from anything else under the hood. In my opinion, that is the best way to manage all the cables that come with this kit. Just so they don't hang and dangle everywhere and get caught up and, you know, so they're not in anybody's way if anybody wants to work on the car. You can do that a different way if you like. It doesn't really matter. It's just how I do it is how I'm showing it. Bundle up all the wiring that is extra. There is a little bit of extra wire. This is a universal wiring harness, so you will have extras. Now, I just bundled it up and then zip tied it all together and then tucked it away so that it didn't just hang out everywhere. So as you can see, you can see the wires, but they are very well tied up, and I think it looks great. Next, we're gonna work on mounting the power switch on the inside. Now, in the Santa Cruz, there's not a really good place to mount a switch. Now, I just chose this spot because it was handy and easy to reach. Um, you may wanna do it differently. There are other areas underneath the dash. Maybe you could hide a switch or, or mount a switch somewhere else. But this was the most obvious place for me because it was easy to access. So um, basically just put your fish tool through that hole, bring it out the other side. And again, we're gonna tape our wiring to that fish tool, pull it on through. And of course you wanna make sure it doesn't get tangled up in the pedals, but that gives us enough length. And one thing you gotta do on these is trim that little tab off on the switch so that it, it fits into the hole nice and snug and doesn't have an issue there. So this is a 7 8 inch hole that you have to drill and I would drill it a little bit small and then just kind of file it out so that you don't go too big. 
Um, but yeah, once it's cut, pop the switch into the hole. Now make sure you're not forcing the switch into the hole. If you are, make the hole a tiny little bit bigger because if it's too tight, the switch won't actually operate very well. At this time, it's safe to go ahead and put the fuse back in. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna go ahead and just check all of our wiring, make sure it's all tied up. And as you can see here, I put a couple of extra zip ties under the dash, and then you just put this little kick panel back in, of course, depending on where you put the switch. But last step is gonna be to pull the tape off and all the protective film. Now, I know you're looking at these lights and thinking, boy, they're gonna, they're gonna be blue. <laughs> No, that's just a protective layer that goes on the lights, which is very satisfying to peel. All right, guys, that pretty much wraps it up. And what do you guys think? I think they look amazing on there. I definitely think it helps set the vehicle apart a little bit. Never mind that. Look how bright these things are compared to just the headlights. And now if you have the premium or the limited, you actually have LED lights, which are pretty bright on their own. But man, what a difference having these pod lights. Again, you can find these at hrgoffroad.com. I'll put a link in the description. And I appreciate you guys watching to the end. I'll see you in the next video.